Uh, I was heading into Dollar Tree in Brandon, Florida, but I ended up saying that they opened up this Old Navy in the plaza by Dollar Tree. I was like, you know what? I just got to go in there. I just got to go in there and window shop. I'm not going to buy nothing. We just going to window shop. We're not going to buy nothing. Let's got a 70% clearance. Get me up out of here. I was going to Old Navy, but this caught my eye first. Let's look in here for a second. We ain't going to really try to buy nothing. We going to look. Oh, Michaels is hiring, guys. Now hiring. Oh, they get 30% discount. I gotta get a buggy. Well, why am I getting a buggy if we ain't buying nothing? I'm not getting nothing. Why are you getting a buggy? Well, I'm getting a buggy to hold my wallet. You know, I like to put my wallet and my keys in the bar. I'm getting the buggy to hold my wallet. <laughs> That's why we ain't getting nothing. We not gonna buy nothing. We just gonna look. We just gonna window shop. We cannot afford to buy anything, honey. Won't treat me with this 70% off sale. We just gonna do it. Now it says spring and summer floral decor, 70% off. Original tags, they got some outdoor pillows, flamingo, some watermelon, $24.99. What's 70% off? $24.99. They ain't got it, but it's gonna be like, I don't know how much because I was trying to do math in my head. I was getting the numbers wrong and then somebody in the comments was like, she's so dumb because I wasn't using my calculator because I was using my phone to record. So I don't want to do that anymore. So y'all could just calculate the 70% off at home by yourself because I'm not doing it. So cute. It's a pick your own sunflower. I love me some sunflower seeds. Normally $9.99. Is this 70% off? Because if that's 70% off, I might buy that. Let's see. Let's see. But we ain't buying nothing. We ain't gonna buy nothing. We not gonna buy nothing. Stay focused, peaches. We just browsing. This is cute. It's a blessed. Let me find out if this stuff on 70%. Hold on, y'all. The core stuff is 70% off, y'all. These boots cute. You can put some plants in here. They normally $34.99. This is so crazy. $34.99. Child, they're gonna be somewhere between nine and ten dollars. I don't know. I ain't got my calculator. I'm using my phone. But they got white, green, orange. That's cute. I don't need that. I ain't got no cute. Look at that. Look at the letters. How long are these 70% off? No. I gotta ask. Because it said like 70% off this way, but I don't see a 70% off sign for right here. This is me. Let's say like, this is Miss. I like that. It should have said this is me. Love is here. This is cute. So this stuff is 70% off the little fake flowers and stuff. But not this cute, sweet stuff. I like this. This floral print. Ooh, child. I ain't no Marshall sold all of that. Got some more clearance. Best happens when you are awake. A dollar seventy-seven. What do you put this at? Creative year. Oh, so this is if you're one of those journaling people. I'm going to buy it. I want to get another 70% off on top of the clearance. It's like the little craft stuff. Five piece. It's like if you like to make flowers. That's all I'm going to buy. I ain't going to buy nothing else. I ain't really trying to buy nothing. Clearance event. What they got, what they got. Make every day count 160 page. It's like a calendar. For any of y'all who into calendar building. I'm not planner building. She's not that tall. Chalkboards on clearance. A dollar fifty four, dollar thirty seven, ninety seven cent. Those are cute. I be seeing people use that kind of stuff for their wedding. Everybody buying them like they're gone. Yeah, all the little cute clearance stuff gone. Got a little paint, some strings and stuff on clearance. Seventy cent, twenty five cent. What is this? See, I'm not crafty. I don't like to make things. But if you like to make things, you know, you might want to check this out. I don't. Not interested. Look at these homemade frames. 
That's cute. She pretty too. That's a pretty little girl. All right, y'all. They got like bird houses and stuff, but I'm not on clearance. All the clearance stuff like it's gone. All the clearance stuff that I think I would like. I'm not really a crafty girl. I'm about to go to Old Navy. We ain't got time for this. See, I told y'all I wasn't going to buy nothing. They got all the Martha Stewart party supplies, 70% off. Knock yourself out, sis. 70% off all my party planning subbies. People who get married and having baby showers. You know? Martha Stewart now. 70% off. Who is this? Is this somebody else? That stuff cute. Martha Stewart. 70% off. Check them out. 50% off balloons. Oh, I love it. a good journal. This journal caught my eye. I like the pages, but $20. That a dream. 20 I ain't, I ain't even finna open it. I ain't paying $20 for that. My keys. Leave that buggy. And I'm going by my business. This not my style. I was gonna come in here and try to give y'all a look-see, but uh, it's a oopsie, because... I'm not crafty and I'm not interested going to Old Navy <laughs> and then Dollar Tree. That's more my jam. Michael's clearance is not a go for me. Like I said, I'm not a crafty person. I don't like arts and crafts, never did, not even as a kid. But if you like arts and crafts, y'all come check them out. We finna go to Old Navy where I can do what I do. A, a, um, you know, bankrupt scene waiting to happen. They got five and below. Old Navy, Shoe Carnival, Bath and Body Works. They got everything in this plaza. I got to get up out this of here. This is Old Navy. This is my first time ever seeing an Old Navy that's not in the mall. This is new. I've never been in here before. Really excited to go. Let's go. See what this Old Navy is about. Hi. I'm good. I'm just window shopping. I haven't shopped in Old Navy since I was like in high school. And I can already tell I'm still not gonna shop at a sale $10. $10 for a shirt? $25 for a dress? That ain't no deal. $20 jeans? Nah. No. I can go to City Trends. No. No. They got these little flip flops, but I could get these from the Chinese hair salon. You know, high store, they five dollars. Yeah, we not gonna get those. Maybe it's not the move for me. I'm about to just head back out the door because this like a fake sale. For those of you who aren't aware, I think a sale is anything between one cent and five dollars. Anything over five dollars, that is high. That ain't no sale. Now maybe when I get some money, I might be big time. But right now, it's not looking like a sale. I my shirts for two ninety nine. Say price drop two ninety nine, but they only got one two ninety nine shirt left. Everything should be two ninety nine. These shirts eight ninety nine, but you can get a shirt like this from Walmart and from Dollar Tree. So yeah, that's not a good buy. These shirts are cute. I would say this is cute for ten dollars. I don't know though, but you might like it, sis. You might like the price. Me not like the price. I'm not lucky the dog. 15, 10, 20, no, not lucky the dog. Yeah. These sales not hitting today. These is kid jeans. $15 for some kid shops. Nah, children's place me, please. Children's place would never. This is not a sale. Look at this. This is 4th of July colors, and they talking about not on sale for $14. $14 for this? And they, is it, ain't even no shows. Just the shirt, Old Navy. Get a, um sponsorship from Old Navy. Cause I think they high. Nah, sis. Nah, sis. $5, it's that's not too bad. On sale for $5, this one is cute. I don't think it's worth $5. You know, that look more like a $2 shirt to me, but okay. And for some kids jeans from Old Navy, $16. You can go get you some polo jeans out of Marshalls. For that price, you can get a whole outfit. What is wrong with these people? $4.99 and up. That's the trick. They put the and up real small to trick you. But they like $5.99. I'll come back and buy these. 
I would buy these jackets. $6 for a jacket. Not bad. This one is $9. Wouldn't buy that. This $2.99. What's this for $2.99? A little regular t-shirt. $5.94. So I have to come back and play with this out. That's more my style. These jeans not though. $13.99. I'm going to stay right there and go to Children's Place. Mm-hmm. All of this is a no-go. These $12 jeans. Now, what about these 40% off shirts? $16.99. So $17. If it was 50% off, it would have been $8.50. 40% off. They still like almost $10. No. You can get a whole outfit for that price. I hope y'all don't shop at Old Navy and think that this is a deal. If you shop at Old Navy and you think this is a deal, sis, please stop. This is not. This is a rip. A rip. Run, sis. Run. Buying nothing out of here. These little shorts right here, six dollars on. Um, they should be like two, three, three dollars. These sweats, eleven nine nine. Y'all can get a whole outfit out of Marshalls. How these people even still in business with these prices? Now these shoes, two dollars. These cute for two. They uncomfortable for little kids, so I wouldn't buy baby those. That's uncomfortable. Five dollar shirts, graphic tees. I know somebody gonna be like, but it's the quality. No, baby, I've seen this same quality in other stores for less. Now this I might do. This is nine ninety nine. Like this would kind of be okay, but I still think you can get that for three dollars out of Marshalls. Some Marshalls. Probably not today because I got to go home and cook lunch. But I'm going to try to take y'all to Marshalls either later on tonight or tomorrow. So you can see what a real sale and a real deal look like because this My ain't it. So it look like that. Okay, so what is this? The synopsis for Old Navy. It's cute in here, but the price is not. <laughs> the price has made me angry. I would not pay these prices. Uh-uh. I am a cheapskate. You can get you some Ralph Lauren Polo, not Beverly Hills, for the prices up in here. Do not shop at Old Navy during this fake sale. Mm -mm, uh -huh. honey. And like I said, this plaza will make you go broke. So come up here at your own wrist if you're ever in Tampa. They got a Kirkland's, they got an Alta, they got five and below, which is now like five and above because five and below got stuff for $10, $15, and even $20 now. It's ridiculous. Then we got Marshall's Dollar Tree. That's where I was supposed to be going. The whole purpose of this video was for me to come into Dollar Tree and get some bleach and some glass cleaner and some paper towels. And somehow I ended up at Old Navy. They got a rainbow down there too. I'm gonna just walk into here right quick because I heard they had a sell on their shoes and baby need a new pair of shoes. But other than that, I think I'm not gonna buy nothing, but I want y'all to know that Marshall's is cheaper than Old Navy. <laughs> that they're having a huge clearance event. Let's see if it's really a clearance. So like these Nautica shoes, they're $8. Normally $9.99, you saving $2. I got these shoes, y'all. These guest shoes is so comfortable. I had bought them for $4. How much are they now? $16. Ooh, I'm happy I bought them when I did. They crazy. They out they mine. How about them for four? Them my joints right there. Okay, the Puma slides is $9. I wonder they got some slides for choice. These Adidas is the regular price. $9.99, they're not on sale. Size six. They got the Crocs. Normal price, $14.99, they're not on sale. Okay, where's this big old pants set? Looking for baby shoes. Baby shoes. These nauticals are $12. Gorgeous got a pair of these already. We got from Marshalls and it was like $10. Not Marshalls, Burlington. These are 12. These are cute, cute back to school shoe. Nautical, these Adidas. They're not on sale. They're regular price, 30 bucks. These are eight. I ain't paying eight dollars for no little sandals for no little girl. That's crazy. Crazy. So it just looked at me like I was crazy. Like, girl, who was you talking to, girl? You looking kind of crazy. These are twelve dollars. These are Michael Kors. They're little kid shoes. Twelve dollars. I don't think they're cute. We need baby some walking shoes. I might have to go to Oshkosh or Carter's and buy him some toddler shoes. Oshkosh, gosh. These Oshkosh shoes, 
ten dollars. I like me some Oshkosh. They so comfortable. Them some comfortable shoes for kids. Those are ten buckaroos. They really got no shoes on display right now. These are some new balances. Let's see. Let's see. Them cute. $16.99 for the new balances at Marshalls. That's the cute back to school shoe. But I would wait the no tax weekend, but they might not have this kind of stuff. Nautica's $12. These are cute for $12. Real girly. I don't see nothing for my kids, especially for babies. I don't know if everybody done came and bought all the baby shoes already. $29.99. These are some Nikes. On clearance for $18. Hold on now. 18 bucks. Well, we could swing them. My turn uniform shirts be purple if they could decide to go back to school. That's a size two. We're gonna get choice some of these. These are supposed to be girls. This is juniors. We're gonna get choice some of these. Choice wears a three and a half or a four. Let's see if they got the same shoe. But sometimes the boxes be different. See what I'm talking about? This is some black Nikes. I'm gonna try they down clearance as well. Ten dollars. Oh, we getting these for ten dollars. They ain't the cutest, but they ten dollars for some Nikes. We're definitely they buying. Have these. This purple shoe that's eighteen dollars. They only got it in a size two. This Junior Vapor shoe. I guess that's what this one is. That's twelve dollars. So I don't know nobody that could wear these, but these black Nikes for ten dollars. Yeah, we're gonna get those. Some Nautica slides. Daddy loves flip flops. Twelve, which is their normal price. Thirteen. These are some comfortable shoes. Daddy got a pair of these. Now he obsessed with them. I had bought them for him. He's like, I don't want them ugly flip flops. Now he obsessed. They're twelve. No, thirteen. Hmm. 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 Should I buy him those? I'm not sure. Let's keep looking for little kid shoes. As far as our twelve, I said I wouldn't buy no girl sandals like this, but them kind of cute. For twelve dollars, I might end up buying those. Gorgeous wears an eight. Do they have an eight? They only got a nine. And now sometimes I do buy shoes that are bigger sizes, and I save them if they're a good price. Do y'all think that twelve dollars is a good price? Comment down below if y'all think I should buy these shoes for twelve dollars. Michael Kors flip flops twelve dollars. That one was a display. Twelve bucks. Would y'all pay nine dollars? I mean, twelve dollars for these. I like them when they more like five dollars for some sandals. That's normally my budget. We are gonna put these in the buggy as a maybe. Now they hold shoes for twenty four hours. So comment down below if y'all think I should come back and get these. They also have these Michael Kors. Oh no, these Blowfish. Blowfish tennis shoes for sixteen dollars for a girl. These are eight. But I don't really like these. They're $8 though. So I wouldn't buy them because they're not that cute. They're like gladiator shoes. But they're not cute to me. These are also $8. Is this these? Yep. Same kind of gladiator kind of sandal. $8. I'm versus down here that's not on display. Let's check these out. McIntyre wears them from 11 or a 12, like he's about to be in a 12 soon. These all white Converse, these kind of fresh, $25. What y'all think? Should I buy these as a back to school shoe? 25 bucks. I feel like I can get them cheaper at Converse. Last year we were able to get Converse for like $6 and $10. I might wait out on those. Let's put these right here as a maybe. And then over here, I don't know what kind of shoe that is, but they don't got my kid's size. But let's look just to be nosy. Because it's not on this way. Ooh, these tight. They some KDs. I would have bought these. Wish they had these in choice size. And they only $35 for some KDs. Them fresh. I like those. Daddy. Because they got all the grown-up shoes. Look at the Adidas. $34.99. So Daddy and my oldest son... He's in like an eight, eight and a half. We have to check him out. I'm going to come back up here. So, yeah. I'm going to stop right now and come back because I know that this is going to be a good time.
How much are these sandals? My right, auto Adidas sandals, they're $16.99. $35 for some Adidas, not bad. These are some New Balances. Black New Balances for men. Y'all, they on clearance for just $29. Oh my God, this is a size 11. Too big for Daddy or McKay. But they probably got some more. They got nine and a half for 13. Yeah, we finna come back up here. These Pumas, these Pumas fly. They $20, they so fly. I like these. For twenty dollars, I'm buying these for choice. Another back to school shoe for choice. Three and a half. It's a display. The three and a half. They don't have a four. They only got a four and a half. So we're gonna buy these. I like these. Twenty dollars. These tight. Y'all think these tight? Comment down below if you would have bought these, cause I'm buying them. So Choice is going to get two pair of shoes for $30. A pair of Nikes and a pair of Pumas. Tight. These shoes not even on display. They're not even showing them on display. You got to open the box and see what it is. These some Adidas. I don't like these. And I stick with my $10 Nike. The $10 Nike. These um, Nautica shoes. $19.99. They're not on clearance or anything. They're cute though. That's a cute back to school shoe, but I'm not buying that. <laughs> they stay on clearance for 16. I'm not buying that. But yeah, I want to come back and go through these shoes because I know I'm going to find some jewels in these things. So I'm going to bring daddy back because he loves to shop for shoes. And he's more patient when it comes to shopping for shoes than he is with me when I'm shopping for clearance. I'm ugly for twenty three dollars. I'm a ten and a half, y'all. I'm a big foot girl. Yeah. Five six with a big foot. Okay. So like some grandma shoes. How much they are? Twenty three. Not nah, not a deal. Might as well go to Macy's. Go look at Macy's, ladies. Daddy had bought me five pair of new shoes out of Macy's, and he only spent twenty three dollars. Taught that man well. These bags are cute. This is Steve Matten bag. $24.99. Might as well go Vera Bradley. But yeah, they have, it. for those of you who aren't familiar with Marshalls, they sell name brand items at a discounted price. So like items that's no longer in the mall. You can find some good stuff. They have Michael Kors. They have Calvin Klein. Like these are Calvin Klein bags. This one's on clearance for $38. This is cute. I would wear that. But I am not spending money on me today on no bag. Oh, this bag just caught my eye. This is so cute. This is the Aldo bag. How have you said? $34.99. This bag is too cute. What's the normal price? I don't see the normal price on here, but that store is expensive if you've never been there. They sell shoes and stuff. But yeah, you have to take your time in this section. Look at this Marc Jacobs bag. This little behind my Marc Jacobs bag. So tiny. See how little it is? $119 for Marc Jacobs. This little old tiny bag. Child, please. I don't care who you is. I ain't buying it. up and come out with some expensive items. Y'all gonna be like, girl, how you wanna be a cheapskate and be high? Because my price is gonna be high. <laughs> the gag. Classy is crazy. Woo, child. That's only $24.99. That's more like it. That's not a bad price for a bag. That's not a bad price. I don't see none of the Michael Kors back here. They might be on the other side. Sometimes you might even be able to find Gucci. I know I found Gucci and TJ Maxx and all the Michael Kors watches as well. So don't sleep on these stores. But I don't see no Michael Kors in this Marshalls. But they be having them. They got Tommy Hill figure. Just seen a Tommy bag. And I do have my wallet for those of you like, are you leaving your wallet in the buggy? No, I got it. I got it. Y'all like these wooden bags? I think they so ugly. But I guess it was supposed to be trendy. They're $18 on clearance. And they got different shapes. This one's 16 is round one. I don't like those. I think they're ugly. Now this cute. It's 26. I wouldn't pay that for that. I don't like bags that you can't wear. I like to wear my bags when I buy a bag. I don't like handbags that you can't throw across your body or put all the way up your arm. 
All right, we done with right here. Let's look at some clothes right quick and then we're gonna go pay for these two pairs of shoes. The home stuff, all that jazz. They're kind of similar to Burlington. They sell clothes, high home goods, toys, baby stuff. Let's look at the children's clothes so you can see why I was saying Old Navy wasn't a good deal because Marshalls normally has better price stuff and it'd be like whole sets like this a whole outfit top and bottom for 14 dollars I still wouldn't pay $14.99 for that though. We'll look over here at this clearance. But my kids really don't need clothes. I'm just doing this to show y'all. Now if I see something really good price, I'll buy it. Like what is this for $2? This bathing suit seven, this bathing suit two. But it's too big for gorgeous. Gorgeous can't fit this size stuff. Gorgeous is a 24 months or a 2 tee. This dress, $8. But I actually got these better out of Burlington. If y'all miss Burlington sale, sus, I feel bad for you. Because Burlington sale was the bomb. But we just gonna buy these shoes. Hey, I got gorgeous those book bags out of Burlington. We just gonna buy these shoes and go on about our business. Because I gotta go home. I got this chicken in the car. She needs to get on the move. I wanted to show this to y'all real quick. These are actual Adidas outfits, $14.99. These Nikes, Nike outfits, just do it. $12.99, that's what they say, see? $12.99 for the Nike outfits. So like I said, Old Navy, and that's with the top and the bottom. Old Navy isn't always the bomb. Stuff you see that's a sale, you might be like, oh, this is a sale. I'll be like, no, that is not. How much is NBA? That better be cheap. The NBA outfit, nine nine nine. I bought daddy NBA outfits out of Marshalls. He was like, I mean, Burlington. He was like, I don't want that. That's ugly. Now he wearing them every day and I only paid $2 for them. He was like, I don't want them $2 outfits. I don't want them. And now he rocking them every day. And everybody like, where you got them from? I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Puma is only seven ninety nine. That's cute. The Pumas are cute. I would buy choice of Puma outfits to match his clothes if I see one. Match the shoes I'm buying him. I got him Nike shoes and, yeah, and Puma. So if I could have found one choice, it's like a 10 now. I only seen like one size 10 outfit. These mostly McIntyre sizes. Like McIntyre got this champion outfit for $3 out of um, Burlington, the same outfit, and it's in here for $9.99. So you just have to look around. It's more time consuming. My baby got this Paw Patrol outfit from Burlington for $2. How much is it in here? He got the same outfit. I swear to God, I can go in my closet and show you. And here it's $8.99. And I got it for $2. And it come with two shirts. So it's important to look around at different stores for different stuff. And at different times. Sometimes it may seem like a deal and it's really not. These are Carter's outfits. They're $12.99. Also got what's them out of Burlington. What's up? What's up? You already know. This is yeah. Now, I done made it home from the store. My battery done. I am like the yeah. world's yeah. worst yeah. YouTuber. I always got a dead tight. phone, a dead camera. Every I'm, battery I'm, always dies. Shut my house. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Give me a moment. My battery is always dead. I actually bought a portable charger from Walmart for $10. And that's always dead, too, because I'll be forgetting to charge it. So, Sorry. Anyways, we're going to get into what I bought. Cause just because somebody asked Mommy. me. They was like, can you start um, showing us once you get home what you bought? Um, Can you start showing us once you get home what you bought just to make sure you really bought it? I'm like, people, it's so weird. Like, if I wanted to just walk around the store and window shop, I would tell you I'm walking around the store window shop. And I would not fill up my buggy with stuff I'm not going to buy. But I'm going to show y'all, especially because my camera went there. Let me show y'all what I got. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But you know, I went to Sam's Club and Dollar Tree and um marshall's and old navy and michael's but i only bought stuff from sam's club dollar tree and marshall's that's it so what did i buy go wash your hands buddy what did i buy i bought four bleaches these awesome bleaches i like awesome bleach i like top job it don't matter it's a dollar bleach i bought four of these they only had the purple kind which is the lavender scented i don't care too much for the scent but i like the price okay so your girl got it for the price this one this two this three and this four and i got them like that because i got this bleach holding this up got this um warmer refillers from sam's club they were 9.99 or 9.98 something like that I bought these pens from Dollar Tree because, yes, I really do be needing pens. I love to write. I be having to sign stuff, and I keep not having pens because 
gorgeous is a writer like her mom. I got three of these good scents flip top bags. This is not the kind I like. These are the bigger lawn bags. But I put y'all on to the, the man gotta go bags. The seven good scents bags, the red box. They selling out. I cannot find them nowhere. I gotta stop telling y'all stuff. Dish detergents. These palm olive dish detergents from the Dollar Tree. I was actually surprised because they were a pretty big size. They were a pretty big size today. So I bought two of those for a dollar, three bags. I got three tissues. I thought I bought four. I kind of feel like somebody stole one of my tissues and put it up already. But it's three on the table. So we're going to say I bought three tissues. I bought two paper towels, but they already put one on the roll, which the baby keep on pulling apart. So, yeah. Then I got my glass cleaner that I forgot last time. I love this stuff. I get this from the Dollar Tree. It's just $1. It is a spray foam glass cleaner. It's off the chain. I got me two carpet foam cleaners because they waste food in my bar stools and I need to clean it. So I'm going to be doing that when I do my extreme clean video. I got this soap. It's 16 bars of the Gold Moisture Soap from Sam's Club. It was $15.98. When I was thinking about it on my way home, I was like, I could have just got this out of the Dollar Tree. Because they do sell these in the Dollar Tree. That's how I got put onto these. They sell these in the Dollar Tree for $1. I'm like, I could have got $16 for $16. Like, I could have not bought this from Sam's. So if you don't want a big one like this, just buy them from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Now, I will say... These are hard to find this kind in a Dollar Tree, but this smells so good. When I put this on, bay, you would just want to kiss on my neck and touch on my body. Tell the people. Tell the people how good. I be smelling like a whole, not a snack, because it don't smell like food. It just smell like, I be smelling like a vibe. That's the best way to explain it. I be smelling like a vibe. I be smelling so good. Like, you just want to lay up under me and catch the vibe. I smell good, positive vibes around that joint. Now we're going to move over to this water. I finally found the water I wanted at the Dollar Tree I went to today. These Crystal Glaciers um, spring water. I love this water. Alpine spring water. We got a liquor store called Alpine in Tampa, but this ain't liquor. This is just water. Tampa people are like, Alpine? No, baby. This is just water. Um, with this water, you get this big old, what is this? I kept saying a gallon. This is a gallon, right? Okay, it's a gallon. I, kept, I think I was calling it a two liter last time. It's a gallon of water for $1 at the Dollar Tree. And they also sell the six pack. So I got two of those. It's my favorite water. And then I got these paper plates from the Dollar Tree. I told you I was not buying them from Sam's. I got 60 plates for $2. And these plates are pretty good. You could just put one plate. You don't need two and three plates. You know, sometimes you buy cheap paper plates. And then you put two on us because you think they're going to fall apart. I don't got to do that with these. I also got choice these Nikes right here. They not the cutest Nikes, you know, but they're Nike. See the Nike check? These these are Nikes. I got these from um Marshalls, y'all, for just doom doom doom. Ten dollars. So I'm very happy about that buy. Some Nikes. Nike box. Some Nikes for ten dollars. I had to get them. Next, we got the sweet teriyaki chicken fillets which we are about to cook for lunch i'm gonna cook that in a separate video because people keep asking me how you cook the teriyaki chicken jane show us how to cook the chick chicken chicken how you make that chicken chick 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 teriyaki sweet teriyaki sweet teriyaki sweet chick 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 okay the teriyaki sweet teriyaki chicken the bomb.com from sam's club and then i also bought this big bag of rice which i regret buying still but i'm gonna cook it and hopefully when i cook it it just be the bomb this is a 25 pound bag of rice for just 14 something it was like 14.58 or 14.98 which i feel like that is too much money for some rice especially when i can get rice from walmart for two dollars and stuff like that rice from sales you know the little jugs for five something but it's not this much rice and i want to go for like an asian vibe right now and the asian lady in sam's club told me to get this she said you get this rice you wash this rice three times before you cook it rinse it three times then after that you're gonna put this much water she said take my fingertip my thumb tip and i'm gonna put that much water in it put a lid on the pot and let it cook so we're gonna try this rice today i'm gonna have to go back to dollar tree and buy me some containers because i forgot so i can put it in some containers because this is a big old bag and my sharing will waste this all over the floor yes give me one moment baby i, I'm gonna help these. You. I think these pumas is so sly now the issue with these pumas this is from um what's the store marshall's they said they're normally 30 dollars. they was on sale for 19.99 um i think they fly i really like them the issue with them is i thought this was a three and a half and then i got home and we discovered that they are a three and a half in uk but in america there are they are a four and a half so i'm debating 
I saw the three and a half first. I'm debating if I should keep these, which I think I'm going to keep them anyways. They was just $20 and save them. But choice. Choice is like in between the three and a half and a four. So maybe in the middle of this year, the middle of, well, the end of the year, because we're in the middle of the year. Maybe at the end of this year or next year, he'll be able to fit these. I haven't tried them on him yet. So I'm going to keep them. What y'all think? Should I keep them? I should keep them bad. I'm keeping them. I don't even know why I'm asking y'all that. I am keeping these shoes. I think they fly. If they would have had them in my size, I would have bought them. These are so cute. And I did end up buying gorgeous the Michael Kors shoes that I did not want to buy. But her reaction when she just saw them was so cute. So I don't regret buying them. She was like, oh, my shoes are so pretty. These are some Michael Kors flip-flops from Marshalls. And they were $12. I don't like to pay $12 for shoes. I feel like little sandals should be no more than $5. But I'm like, it is Michael Kors, and they are really cute. So this is a size nine. Gorgeous is in between an eight and a nine. So these size nines will last her longer. She can't wear shoes to school if we send her back to school and daycare. But when she's with us and, you know, we want her to look extra girly with a dress on or something, she can wear her sandals. Daddy love putting her on sandals. And that concludes. I am going to add this to the end of my other video. I think I'm going to put my shopping trips all together and then put this at the end or I might do it separate. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. We'll see when I'm editing. That's why I'm saying this because I just really don't know. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you are not subscribed yet, what's wrong with you? I'm a good time. I am a good time. So if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you can join the peach patch. Okay, the peach patch. It's a party over here all the time with the peach patch. Um, Also, make sure you hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. Hey, hit a like you like. For your girl. Thanks for watching.